Question 54. What are angels? Angels are pure spiritual creatures of God who have understanding and will. They have no bodies and cannot die, and are usually not visible. They live constantly in God's presence and convey God's will and God's protection to men. Angels were created to love and serve God, as well as to inspire us, protect us, and help lead us to God. Sacred Scripture tells us that in the beginning, some angels freely rejected God. They are known as devils or demons. Question 55. Can we interact with angels? Yes, we can call on angels for help and ask them to intercede with God. God gives every person a guardian angel. Guardian angels can help convey messages from God and lead you to God. You can pray to your guardian angel for help for yourself and for others. Now don't get confused. You might have heard about the New Age movement, positive vibes, good feelings, spirits, and so forth. That is not part of our faith, nor what we believe about angels. Angels are not associated with those things. Question 56. Does man have a special place in creation? Yes. Man is the summit of creation because God created him in his image. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. The creation of people is clearly distinguished from the creation of other living things. Humans are unique because of their understanding and will. Therefore, people can decide to love or not to love. God created the world and the universe, and everything seems so vast. That can make us feel small and insignificant. For example, God made all the stars. There is one humongous star named Canis Majoris. Suppose a plane flew around Earth at 600 miles per hour. It would take 44 hours to fly all around the Earth. Now, if the same plane flew around Canis Majoris at the same speed, it would take 1,100 years to fly around that star. It's that enormous. Comparing the star to me makes me feel small. But you and I are more important than that star. Because God made us in his image, not the star. God could become anything, star, planet, mountain, tree, or animal. But he did not become any of these things. He could become anything, but he decided to become human. How did he do this? God the Father sent Jesus, the second person of the Trinity who actually became man. Yes, this is because God cares for us and desires a relationship with his people. 
He loves us and saves us so we can continue to have a relationship with Him. Question 57. How should man treat animals and other fellow creatures? Man should honor the Creator and other creatures and treat them carefully and responsibly. Man, animals, and plants have the same creator who called them into being out of love. Therefore, a love of animals is profoundly human. It's very important that people love and take care of animals because all of God's creation have dignity. According to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God said, Let them, humans, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame animals, all the wild animals, and all the creatures. For humans to have dominion, it means man is allowed to use and to eat plants and animals. However, People are never allowed to torture, exploit, or destroy God's creation. For example, maybe you have a pet, which is great. Remember, it's important for you to feed and take care of your pet because God is our creator and he made everything. Hello, I'm Father Sean Carey, and this is my name sign. I'm from the Archdiocese of Boston, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching. See you next week.